I get it. You're about to leave your house, get out of your comfort zone, and go to work, or go to the cafe, or meet somebody, or go to the library, or go to the movies. You're about to do something outside with people. And you're anticipating these anxiety symptoms mentally, emotionally, physically, and you just don't know how to handle them. Well, today we are going to dive deep into how to deal with these anxiety symptoms prior to going into public and what to do when you're outside of your comfort zones, my friends. Because, you know, one of the biggest things was well, what if this happens? What if the anxiety symptoms get really bad? What if I become very symptomatic? What if my thoughts absolutely overtake me in this public environment? What am I going to do? Am I going to run away? And many times we can't run away. And what we tend to do is we tend to bulldoze through the experience. And once we bulldoze through the experience, we leave that environment absolutely depleted and overwhelmed. And we justify the fear the next time we come back into that same environment. We no longer want to play this game. We no longer want to fall into the trap that our lower selves or ego or unconscious mind is trying to trick us into. No more traps, no more games. Let's get into what we need to do. First things first is you want to welcome the symptoms prior to leaving your comfort zone. So you've got the mindset. We have to focus on the mindset first. You go, I welcome the symptoms now and in the future because I'm no longer afraid of them. I may feel like I am emotionally afraid of them because I've practiced anxiety so often. However, I know where these symptoms lead me. They lead me to feeling distraught over them. They lead me to feeling overwhelmed because of them. However, I've survived every difficult instance in my life. And therefore, I believe that I'm going to survive this one as well. So step one is to welcome your symptoms. Welcome your symptoms in prior to going into that situation. And this is kind of like bringing with you a, a young child, right? Come on. Yeah, you can come to the meeting. Oh, yeah, you can come with me on this drive. Oh, for sure you can come with me to this environment, right? It's the same thing. And sometimes that child is going to yell. Sometimes that child is going to scream, whatever it may be, right? However, we want to stay focused on the idea that we can move through this experience with the symptoms there. Because one of the biggest problems in the anxiety recovery place is that we look to get rid of these symptoms. I've got to get rid of them because I'm not supposed to be feeling this way. Well, in truth, these anxiety symptoms are there because of a threat perception. They are perceiving threat in the immediate environment or future environment, or they're a signal of overwhelm or something mentally or emotionally at the root cause. Therefore, we're going, come on, symptoms. If you're going to show up, show up. Step two, allow the emotions and symptoms to be present while you sit and while you socialize. Okay, so... You're now taking the child and you're putting the child on your lap. <laughs> hey, right? Look, there's Jody, there's John, right? Oh, look, wow, look at the beautiful paint over there. I love the color. Oh my God, I'm eating this excellent lunch. Oh, it tastes so good. You're basically, you and the child, you and your lower self are going through the experience with the anxiety emotions and the symptoms there. Because when you get to a place where you are no longer feeding into the symptoms, feeding into the anxiety, these symptoms will start to dissipate because the very thing that they are holding on to is your attention. <gasps> There's a more than anxiety moment right there. They feed off of your attention. Because what is attention? Attention is focus. 
Focus is energy. And where our energy is placed is where we unconsciously make it seem like we want more of that thing. So, you want to feel like you can bring your emotions and bring your symptoms with you in the present moment. Yes, you may be feeling jittery. Yes, you may have that lump in your throat. Yes, you may feel like you're getting dizzier. However, remember, it's okay to move through the experience emotionally neutral towards these symptoms. And the better you get at this, the faster they'll subside. Okay? Number three, and this is the most important part that we want to focus on as we're going through the experience of having symptoms in public, breathe deeply in and out through your diaphragm, through your stomach area, and don't worry about how many breaths you're taking or the technique. Basically, during my anxiety disorder, one of the most powerful things that I could focus on was breathing in through my nose and breathing out through my mouth. I breathed out through my mouth because the longer your exhale is, the more you're promoting a parasympathetic environment within you, meaning you are signaling the safety signal. You are creating a rest and digest environment on the inside. So all you have to do is breathe in through your nose for a few seconds and breathe out through your mouth with pursed lips and don't worry about what people think about what you're doing. Because most of the time, if not all the time, all these people around you are so focused on themselves. So we want to stop people pleasing. We want to stop looking to put up an act in front of people. And we want to take that mask, right? That mask. And we want to put it down. We want to be real with our anxiety recovery in public. It doesn't matter how people judge us or this or that. What we're really doing is we're giving other people permission to heal their own anxiety at the root. That's what we're really doing. So focus on your breath as you're in that public environment, okay? Number four, after you've been focusing on your breath for a while, Pull your focus to what's enjoyable about the experience and allow what is there to flow through you. Flow is a very important word. I want you to kind of imagine that you're watching this river and you're watching the water flow through the river. Yes, it may go through rocks and leaves and this and that, but the water continues to flow and that's you in this environment. The symptoms are flowing through you. The emotions are flowing through you. The mental ideas are flowing through you because all of this is coming from the umbrella of your lower self looking to protect. Okay, so pull your focus to what's enjoyable in this moment. And the most enjoyable thing is the fact that you are just starting to send safe safety signals to your nervous system. You're starting to go, hey, little child, hey, lower self. I know you've been scared for a very long time and you've looked to protect me at every turn. Thank you. I love you so much. And in this very moment, you are enjoying your progress. It is safe to enjoy your progress. It is safe to relax in public environments. It is safe to breathe deeply in front of people. It is safe to let go of worry. It is safe to no longer need certainty in your life. It is safe to let go of controlling this particular situation. <sighs> A more than anxiety moment. So we want to focus on what's enjoyable about this very experience, this present moment right here. You're enjoying your progress. You're enjoying your company. You're enjoying where you are. You're enjoying the music. It doesn't matter. Pull your focus from the internal to the external, okay? And finally, the experience is done. You've made tremendous progress. Yes, the symptoms may be there. Yes, the emotions around anxiety still may be there, but that's not important. It's not important. What's important is that you made progress and you created another tick around 
what the unconscious mind needs to change its belief systems, which is a history of success. The unconscious mind or that inner child is going, hmm, this was different. Tick, maybe we are safe in that environment. Maybe we don't need all these anxiety symptoms, okay? And in the final step, you want to exit the experience with pride in your progress and without judging your results. Oh, but the feelings are still there. Oh, but I still have this lingering idea. No, those are the things that do not matter anymore. What matters is how you consciously went through the experience with what kind of intention. And the intention was to send safety signals through your body, which you are doing. Remember, you've got a tremendous amount of history with anxiety without even knowing it. You have justified these fears at every turn and your mind and body, your brain is sending signals to your body that anything outside your comfort zone is threatening. Therefore, these symptoms are prevailing in your life. Okay, so now we are creating a history of success around safety. This is the key. Okay, and you, as I mentioned, you're exiting the experience. You open the door. You're leaving. Bye, guys. That was a wonderful time, right? Or, bye, guys. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? And work, whatever it may be. And you're walking away with this feeling, right? Because feelings and emotions are the signals that the universe uses to say, what does this person want more of, okay? So when you consciously give more attention to those feelings of being present, feelings of peace, feelings of progress, The universe is going, oh, interesting. Okay, well, now we'll have to give this person everything that aligns with these new feelings. And that's where safety comes in. Okay, so you're exiting the experience with pride and a sense of, I'm doing this. I'm doing this. Because you are doing this. You're here. You listen to this whole video without distraction. Yes, your unconscious mind wanted to stop this video at minute three and say, oh, maybe this isn't it. Maybe it's maybe the answer is here. Maybe the answer is there. But you're not doing that anymore. You're listening to these videos in full and you're receiving the information, the knowledge, the wisdom that you need to apply this into your life to move away from this chapter called anxiety. Remember that you are more than anxiety. And here's what I want you to do. I want you to give this video a like and comment below. Let me know at what point of this video did it speak to you most deeply. I want to hear from you and I'll do my best to comment back. I love you all from the bottom of my heart. Keep going, my peaceful warriors. You're doing an amazing job. Bye-bye.